Have you ever left the first page of your sketchbook blank because you don't want to mess it up and you don't quite know what to put on the first page? Well, the ideal thing to do that I've discovered over the years is to paint, for instance, my, my brushes or my art material. It could be either your palette. Um, I've got uh, just a cup with a couple of brushes and pens in there and I'm using this little A5 moleskin sketchbook. It's a watercolor sketchbook and I have, um, it's just that, that first page is always like a little bit, oh, you know, you don't want to mess it up. So I've decided to do my, my cup with my brushes in. And I've started off by mixing some quinacridone rose and just coming in straight with a brush. No, you, you, can, you can draw it first if you like, but I thought I would just give it a go with, with just a brush. And my cup was like a bluey color, but of course you can use any color you like. Um, you have artistic license to use any color you like. So I've just drawn a little bit the outlines and I'm going to then start adding in some details. So the ones, the things that I have in my, in my cup is a, a flat. This is, I'm busy with the Raphael number 18 flat brush. So this is, that has a nice long red handle. And busy there with a little silver bit at the top that keeps all the um, fibers and that together. And that I've used uh, like a Payne's Gray for that, just to get that sort of chrome reflected look. Don't forget to leave like little bits of uh, white sticking out. So that is for your light. Um, here it is a water brush. I'm doing some of these uh, skipping over every single detail because it would just take too long but um, I've done a water brush there a couple of brush pens in in yellow and the bottom part of my sable brush and coming in with some of the fibers of my flat brush uh, that was a type of yellow ochre with a bit of um, a darker brown just on the base there where they fit into the, the metal section of the brush. Little tips of dark at the top just to show that it has been used in the past. And my, my sable brush. I also have uh, my mop da Vinci brush there in the middle which I haven't painted the fibers on yet but that will come. And then not forgetting that watercolor always dries lighter so I felt that my cup was uh, too light and added in a couple of darks there just to sort of ground it a little bit. So this is my first page. Then I have written at the bottom in pencil, um, traveling, traveling journal. And just to get the writing quite nice and neat and in that sort of shape, uh, that is a pencil I'm using just to add some details to my, uh, my brushes at the top. And then I'm coming in with my uh, fountain pen, which is a Twisby Go. Uh, a really lovely uh, pen with this is a medium nib. And uh, want to, of course, put that down in ink so that it doesn't smudge and um, that it's nice and clear for the future. So this little book and uh, with a sort of really random front page like this, you can use for any type of journaling, whether you're traveling, whether it's uh, traveling around the garden, down the road, uh, just at, at the beach or in at a lovely farm or a field, urban sketching. It is um, a random front page and easy to use for any theme that you would be uh, wanting to do in the future. So let me know what your front pages normally are. I would love to hear what you normally do for your front page and how that works for you. Till next time.